friends welcome to another session of story time with me i'm miss seema and you're watching seema story time children in today's story which is the rainbow fish so the rainbow fish is very proud of its scales because of course the scales are very colorful having all the rainbow colors and he he is very proud of it he wants to show it off to all his friends but at the same time the rainbow fish is not very happy he is a bit sad why is that he should be very happy isn't it but there is something which is going around and he is not very happy about that do you want to know what's happening well then let's read the story the rainbow fish the Rainbow Fish by Marcus Pfister and translated by J. Allison James. A long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish. Not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were very sh every shade of blue and green and purple, with sparkling silver scales among them. The other fish were amazed at his beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they would call. Come and play with us. But the Rainbow Fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow Fish, he called. Wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They are so wonderful. And you have so many. You want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are? cried the rainbow fish. Get away from me! Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset, he told all his friends what had happened. From then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. They turned away when he swam by. What good were the dazzling, shimmering scales with no one to admire them? Now he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day he poured out his troubles to the starfish. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anybody like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish. But if you go beyond the coral reef to a deep cave, you will find the wise octopus. Maybe she can help you. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside. He couldn't see anything. Then suddenly two eyes caught him in the glare and the octopus emerged from the darkness. I have been waiting for you, said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. I can't, the rainbow fish started to say, but the octopus had already disappeared into the dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales, my beautiful shiny scales. Never. How could I ever be happy without them? Suddenly, he felt the light touch of a fin. The little blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. I just want one of the little scales. The rainbow fish wavered. Only one very, very small shimmery scale, he thought. Well, maybe I wouldn't miss just one. Carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. Thank you. Thank you very much. The little blue fish bubbled playfully as he tucked the shiny scale in among his blue ones. A rather peculiar feeling came over the rainbow fish. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with his new scale glittering in the water. The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his scale flashing. 
so it didn't take long before. The rainbow fish was surrounded by the other fish. Everyone wanted a glittering scale. The rainbow fish shared his scales left and right. And the more he gave away, the more delighted he became. When the water around, the, around him filled with glimmering scales, he at last felt at home among the other fish. Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shining scale left. His most prized possessions had given, been given away, yet he was very happy. Come on, rainbow fish, they called. Come and play with us. Here I come, said the rainbow fish, and happy as a splash, he swam off to join his friends. The End so children, I'm sure you realize that why the rainbow fish was unhappy. Because he didn't have any friends. And he didn't want to share his scales with any of his friends. But then when he started sharing them, he started making more friends. And finally, he just had one scale left. And then all his friends had the scales too. Great, that was nice. That was a really lovely story. Children, what we learn from this is that the more you share, the more you are happy, the more you make friends. Isn't it? Good, lovely story, very nice story. I loved it. I'm sure you loved it too. We'll come back with more. Till then, from our story room, it's a bye. See you soon.